What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of this Chelsea FIFA 17 career mode. Things not going great at the moment, bad run of form again, not for the first time this season. Our managerial rating is down to 63, but the transfer window is open. I've been reading through a lot of comments from you guys, put together a cheeky little shortlist, nothing massive. As you know, we've got no budget, so we do need to sell players if we're going to sign people. But, I've been reading through all the comments, and a lot of you are saying that you think our bad run of form could be due to the fact that we're constantly signing new players, selling players, letting changing the squad about, basically, far too much, and it's disrupting the momentum of the team and the team chemistry, which is leading to bad form. So I might take that advice on board, actually, and see if we can keep a settled squad going into the second half of the season and maybe perform a bit better. We've obviously got the Champions League knockout stages to come. FA Cup was still in as well, so plenty to look forward to. When we first started this career mode, we were finding games really, really easy. We were cruising past teams 4-5-0. I think we beat Real Madrid 5-0 on the opening day of this uh, career mode in the opening episode. So we changed the sliders a bit to make it more difficult. But since FIFA's recent update, Legendary has become much tougher and it feels much more like um, the realistic Legendary difficulty from FIFA 16. So I've just put the sliders back to their default settings. Had a decent offer for one of our younger players, Bertrand Traore. Now, not a player that we want to sell. He's definitely one for the future. So this offer is straight up being rejected. Manchester United. Just a bit of a backstory behind Manchester United in this series. They've signed pretty much every player that's done well for us. Courtois, Correa, Batshuayi, just to name a few. And now they want Antoine Griezmann. They've put a massive bid in, but not about that life. Not selling him at all. So the first game of this episode will see us take on Coventry City in the FA Cup. A competition we haven't won before and it's the most prestigious Cup, domestic cup competition in world football. So very, very important to us, especially with our uh, job and managerial situation being as bad as it is at the moment. I think it's pivotal and vital that we get through to the next round here. We're obviously the favourites taking on Coventry. Being a cup game, I've rotated the squad as always. Major news is that Marco Verratti is back in the side. It's still a very strong starting eleven for me. You've got mixture of experience and youngsters Christensen and Terry at the back Verratti and Baker midfield Ruben Loftus-Cheek is going to play in that cam role which I think could be key today with Bertrand Traore up top so let's take a look at this Coventry side which is one I'm not overly familiar with Marvin Sordell I know that name I think he played for Watford in the Premier League correct me if I'm wrong but they're lining up with a five was that a five two three formation didn't even see it but very odd obviously come here to defend we've got to try and find the breakthrough Commentary coming forward early on. Here's Thomas into Sordell, I think, who turns. Might get the shot away, and Donnarumma forced into action straight away. Four minutes on the clock. Oh, Pedro's done well there to win possession back. Can he bend one in? Scored a worldie at the weekend. Not quite up to the same standard there. Baker wins possession in midfield. No one ahead of him, so I'm going to hit one. Oh, my word, Lewis Baker. That would have been a, probably goal of the season for sure. Dip in, hit with power. Fairly accurate as well. Very, very unlucky not to give us the lead. Oh, wow. Wow. We've been cut open. Jones knocks it on one more. The shot comes in from Reed. Really, really should have scored, to be honest. Really should have scored. It's a booking for Christensen in the build-up there, but real, real chance for Coventry. Ferrati on to Azpilicueta. He's running forward. He's got Carrasco going down the right, and he's picked him out. Yannick Carrasco, good touch. Going to knock this back inside. Traore is there on his left foot. That's poor. That's poor. Half-time was gone, and you have to say it's been an evenly fought contest up to this point. We've come closest to scoring. Lewis Baker's effort crashing off the underside of the bar, but Reed for Coventry had almost an open goal at his mercy and slashed the ball wide. So still nil-nil, anybody's game. Here's Thomas in space, finds Rose. What a ball through to Jones. Great save, Donnarumma. Terry gets the ball away. Bit of a scramble there and an absolute panic as well. Ball is whipped into the box. Loftus cheat with the head. Oh, I thought that had gone tops. I thought that had gone tops. Bertrand Traore has been fairly quiet. Finds Azpilicueta. What a ball through. Loftus cheek to give us the lead. Keeper got a hand on it. Couldn't keep it out. Just under an hour on the clock. Ruben Loftus cheek. Great play. Great build up play. Only a few passes, but that ball from Azpilicueta was perfect. And the finish, slight hint of good fortune. Here's McCann for Coventry. Switches the plate. Alonso looking to deal with it, but gets caught underneath it. Jones tries to slide it through the legs. Of Donnarumma, and he's made a decent save and then dives on the loose ball. Another let off. Coventry very much still in this tie. Taking on John Terry. Puts the cross in. It's dangerous. As Pilaqueta. Cool as you like. Oh my god, what was that pass about? 
what is going on here? What is going on here? Donnarumma saved it. Oh, offside flag goes up. Well, looked for the one-two with Baker, but ends up getting it back off Traore. It's a good attack. We can kill Coventry off here. Carrasco is into the box. Got no legs left, but he puts it across and Traore cannot get on the end of it. A little bit too much on the cross, but Pedro will retrieve the ball. Cuts inside his man, who outmuscles him. Is he going to get the ball away or is he just going to dribble around with it in the box? Eventually, Coventry get it clear. Although, they don't really do anything with it. And Loftus-Cheek picks up his second goal of the game. Lovely. It's done. Game over. Two goals for Loftus-Cheek. It was a gift of a goal, really. Thought they were just going to clear it, but they tried to play their way out from the back. Took too long. And it's another good finish from Loftus-Cheek. There you go. Full-time whistle goes. That was virtually the last kick of the game. We get the win that we need to progress, and our name will be in the hat for the next draw. Bid from Bayern Munich from N'Golo Kante. Not a chance. He is key in that midfield. He is the engine of the team. That's being rejected, but there are also other bids. Atletico Madrid want Kurt Zuma, £51 million. We also want Kurt Zuma, so he's going absolutely nowhere. Now, here's an offer I'm interested in. Abdul Baba Rahman, or Baba is he's better known. We, we don't want him. He's valued at 20 mil. We think he's transfer listed. He hasn't really played for us at all. I don't even think he's made an appearance in the whole series. I just want to get his valuation, and I'll happily let him go. 20 mil, Sevilla, 20 mil. We've got another cup game at Stamford Bridge under the lights now to welcome West Ham. Um, they knocked us out of the EFL Cup in real life this year. You can remember it. It was a tough game, bit of a rivalry, lots of crowd trouble. Wasn't the best sort of footballing spectacle, but this is the first leg of the EFL Cup semi-final. Even though this season feels like it's been a bit of a failure already, judging by our league position, we're still in the FA Cup, we're still in the EFL Cup, and we're still in the Champions League. Three trophies that we could potentially win. Had to rotate the squad a little bit more because everybody that played against Coventry is absolutely knackered. I mean, Loftus-Cheek keeps his place in the side, Donnarumma keeps his place in the side, and Captain JT keeps his place in the side. Other than that, it's all changed. See what sort of lineup Bilic has put out here. It's a strong one by the looks of it. Paye's in there, Lancini's in there, Ayu's in there, Obiang's in there. They're taking no chances here. They've got this far, they've got to the semi-final. Only a few games more and you've got your hands on that trophy. Draxler cuts inside. He's got a bit of room. He's going to find Nathaniel Chalaba. Already scored a screamer recently. He goes for another. Went for a shot from distance. There was no other option, by the way. It wasn't too far away. Gets the ball back. Lays it down the right-hand side to Draxler. In to Loftus-Cheek. Two goals last time out. He'll be delighted with that. Might get another one here because the option is on. Loftus-Cheek. He has got another one. What kind of form is this from the man? Been out injured for a long time. That's why he's not been involved. But see what we've been missing. Unreal. Great build-up play. 1-2 with Griezmann was superb. You could see the ball a mile away. Probably could have been sweaty. Squared it to Louise, but just applied the finish. Lubin Loftus-Cheek. Love that. He looked off balance as well. Looked really awkward, but found its way in. That's all that matters. West Ham coming for all. Twisting and turning. And zoom up with a nasty challenge. Here's Lantini. Tries to find the corner, but Donnarumma beats the ball away. And Charlie Musonda prevents the corner. We've got right back. Hugo Mayo offering support. He's going to touch it on to Julian Draxler. Cuts inside his man. Nice one too with Griezmann, who loves playing football. Griezmann. Draxler hits it. And Trian saves. Lost his cheek. Oh, I've run out of breath. And I've run out of stamina, really. Well, stamina. Run out of power. The ball was not going to make it in. Didn't get enough on it. Lost his cheek. Back to Griezmann. These two have linked up so well. Griezmann with the finesse. That... We love hitting the woodwork, don't we? Musonda will keep the attack alive, though. Swings in a deep cross. Draxler heads it down to Louise. He's going to lay it off. Why not? Kennedy. Nah. Never. He's on his left foot. Loftus-Cheek makes a run. He loves getting forward in that cam roll, doesn't he? Might grab another goal here. Oh, great footwork. Unbelievable. Unbelievable from Ruben Loftus-Cheek. You can't stop him when he's in this kind of mood. Again, it was great build-up, but this was so much about the individual challenge, uh, talent even of Ruben Loftus-Cheek. Beats one, two, three defenders, and then a lovely little reverse shot into the far corner. No chance for Adrian. 2-0. It's not even half-time. There you go. Half-time whistle goes with two up, as I said, and this is very much the Ruben Loftus-Cheek show. Oh, Charlie Masonda straight from kickoff has got on the end of this. Takes it onto his left foot. Can he find the back of the net? Good save from Adrian. West Ham caught napping early doors. West Ham going to loft this into the box. Need to deal with it. Haven't done. Winston Reid chests the ball down, believe it or not. Ball is loose. The shot, I think, in the end from Dimitri Payet. Luckily, straight at Donnarumma. Chalaber again. Loftus-Cheek on a hat-trick, of course. Nice turn. Creates space. Hits the drive. Oh, wow. We've hit the woodwork again, and it's denied Ruben the hat-trick that he so desperately deserves. 
Masonda into Luis. Loftus Cheek on to Griezmann. I'm desperate to get Loftus Cheek his hat trick, but Griezmann, if he has the opportunity to shoot, he will take it. Cuts back. Loftus Cheek's there. There's the hat trick. Beautiful play. Credit to Griezmann. Massive credit to Griezmann, but this man is enjoying himself today. Superb play from the number nine. Turned his man there on a sixpence. Loftus Cheek, first time finish, 3 0. Well deserved stand innovation, I think, for the man. That will be his last action. Completing his hat trick. What a couple of games for him. Bertrand Traore is going to come on and play in that cam roll in his place. Andre Ayew with a bit of room. Running at the Chelsea defence. John Terry comes across and that is a top challenge. Semedo cutting inside. West Ham have some options here. Lanzini with a turn. Shot inches wide. Chance for them. West Ham coming forward. Ball in. Dealt with by Louise Kennedy. Helps it on its way. Needed that. I don't want to give West Ham a sniff here. Obviously with it being a cup semi-final over two legs. If they can close the deficit to 3-1, they'll have a bit of confidence going into that game at the London Stadium. But we could really kill it off here. Traore puts it on a plate for Griezmann. Adrian with the save. Not sure how he's done that. Oh, this is not what we need when we're cruising in a cup tie. David Luiz injured. Kante will come on for the last couple of minutes. It's just taking the gloss off what's been a great day, really. See how it happened. Oh, he seemed to just land awkwardly more than anything. Twisted it. Got it caught in the ground. I don't know. Kante stabs it forward to Traore. Griezmann onside. Perfectly timed pass and run. Can Griezmann put us 4-0 up here? Good chance. That's a top finish outside of the left foot. It's a massive step towards a cup final and a trip to Wembley. And I'm pleased that Griezmann has got himself on the score sheet because he deserves it today. Celebrating in front of them away fans though. Not a wise move. But credit to Traore as well. We timed the pass to perfection. Griezmann onside. Tucked it home. Final whistle's gone, 4-0, massive win, should get through to Wembley, barring an absolute disaster. If, if we don't get through, it would be an absolute travesty, and we'd definitely, definitely get the sack if you lose a 4-0 aggregate lead. So two wins out of two from this episode. Both of them were cup games, though, so there was no change for us in the Premier League. I've just got the table up to remind you of where we stand. It's not great viewing at the moment, but hopefully we can take that kind of cup form into the league and start building our way up that Premier League table. There's still 18 games to go, a lot of points up for grabs, and we're only 10 points outside the top four. That's all I'm saying. It's possible, it's doable, but main aim is to get some trophies, keep the squad together, build some morale, and move forward taking these performances with us. Ruben Loftus-Cheek obviously grabbing all the headlines for us today, mashing goals in for fun in today's episode, which is where it's going to end here, guys. Uh, make sure you drop a like if you've enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new to the channel and you don't want to miss any future episodes. We'll see you next time.